Hi everyone. Girl, come walking in there like that. I'd like you all to meet Tim. That's so awkward. Like I wouldn't even show up. Like you could feel the weird energy through the damn. Look how they looking. Jennifer Saint finally receives validation that she's not delusional when her late father reaches out from beyond the grave to confirm that their dark family secret is in fact the truth damn what's up to get us and welcome back to another reaction video so today we're going to be watching a horror short film this one here is 16 minutes so y'all make sure y'all grab y'all snacks whatever and we finna enjoy this so it is called upstairs and it is posted by my favorite altar they have the best horror short films and they never disappoint but y'all it's 9 21 p.m at night and we finna chill and we finna watch these horror films was well, just one so let's just get into it better not nothing jump i was gonna say better not nothing jump out i like that that little intro Beloved husband and father. Oh, somebody ashes right there. Somebody always got to be dead in a horror short film. Not the fucking ashes moving. You could have changed. I don't even want to be here. Leave then. Mm -mm. <laughs> no one's stopping you. Come on now. Sit down. For me. Let me get comfortable. You promised she was taking her meds? I don't need them. Oh, really? Have you seen yourself? Please, you do. Well, why are they at it at each other? I just want to have a normal family meal. Go, y'all not even cooking. Who cooking? Why do we always have to go through with this ritual? It's nice that Caroline wants us to meet her new boyfriend. Someone new in a few months, there always is. Yes. Well, when you meet someone, we'll do the same. And what are the chances of that? I had someone. Yeah. They must hate each other. He loved me. Oh, it's love, was it? You'll meet someone else, Jen. Someone who won't abandon you. Simon didn't abandon me. She took him. Darling, you were confused. You barely knew him. Why do you always stick up for her? Because she's my daughter. <laughs> Damn, so she... Okay, what? And your sister. You should make more of an effort. She's not a monster. I don't like parents like that, cause, girl. You know what happened to your father was an accident. She ain't the only damn sibling. Hi everyone. Girl, don't come walking in there like that. I'd like you all to meet Tim. That's so awkward. Like I wouldn't even show up. Like you could feel the weird energy through the damn. Look how they looking. Should have Hello, dear. never had the damn dinner to begin with. All right, it ain't that good. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, he tanned it up. <laughs> Dude, you do not have to be doing all that. They look like potatoes and... Mm. I scoffed mine. <laughs> I'm ravenous. It didn't even look like she ate. Mm. That was delicious. Thank you, Mrs. Same. Please, uh, Shirley. It's so lovely to finally meet you all. Caroline has told me so much about you. Well, of course, we're not all here. And so it begins. Jen, now's not the time. Did Caroline tell you about Dad? Yes. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Thank you, Tim. 
Did you know it was James who found the body? Girl, why did you just... Stumbled across his corpse in the quarry. What are the chances? You said she was in control. He was barely recognisable as a human. The animals had got to him. They'd eaten. Stop! Mm -hmm. Just stop. Now I'm curious to know what happened to him. Let me... So your dad is bad enough, but he's the one to discover the body. What would you know? So who killed the father? I was reading the description again, but I was still watching We've it. We've all struggled since Dad passed. But we're working as a family to get through it. Uh-uh. Why invite her if you gonna be weird? Are you close to your family, Tim? Mm. <laughs> well, I'm an only child. I never knew my father and I lost my mum when I was 18. Dang. You're perfect. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's fine. Well, it couldn't have been easy for you? Losing your mum so young? No. It broke me. Ran away, went abroad initially for six months, but it ended up being almost a decade. And for her to say you're perfect. Going from odd job to odd job, but mostly charity work. Anyway, one day I woke up and I realised that you can't run forever and so I came back. Oh. Ended up in London, search for a fresh challenge, and I got accepted onto a psychology course. Yeah, it's very different Why from <laughs> looking so mean? what I was doing before, but um, yeah, hopefully I hope I can still help people in some way. Well, that's wonderful. Wherever your mum is now, I'm, I'm sure she's very proud. Didn't he, she, he just say she was dead? Thank you. Or am I tripping? And I was I'm sure you are of your family. I was a mistake. Okay. Jennifer, I really don't think Tim wants to hear exactly. this. Mum and Dad didn't think they could have children, so it was a bit of a shock when I came along. But the twins were born a few years before you. Oh, they weren't born, they were hatched. Jennifer! Enough! <laughs> she said hatched. Dessert. I don't know how to feel about this film. Like I'm giving it a, a six out of ten. I don't know. Hi Jennifer. Your sister asked if we could have a little chat. Is there anything that I can don't you. go upstairs. Like, everything is so weird. Just leave. Walk away and never contact my sister again. Caroline. Are you threatened? I saved one once. Mm -mm. Cut him with a knife. How, 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 how would that save him? That's the only way I could get him to leave. Caroline was furious and she turned on Dad instead. Do I have to do the same to you? Uh, Just leave, they got you too much. You didn't attack your sister's boyfriend. And your father died in a tragic accident. Is that the only way I'm going to get you to leave? Is that the only way I'm going to save you? <laughs> sorry, I'm Just sorry. Just leave. I'm sorry. I would have died when you mean it. You are unwell. And you have been for some time. It's true, sweetheart. No, it's not. I remember I saved him and then she took Dad upstairs, just like Simon. Simon couldn't deal with your illness, Jen. He walked out. No, he, he loved me. He was weak, darling. He couldn't love you. Not like we do. No! She stole him from me. They get ravenous. They have to eat, so she takes them upstairs and he feeds on scraps. He was going upstairs to pack and you stabbed him. 
What the hell? They're not even human. I've I seen them when they think thing. I'm not looking. They're demons. We're demons. You killed Dad. Mm-mm. What are they trying to make her seem crazy? What really is down? Daddy. Okay, she's crazy. To stop him from hurting she just Simon. said, Daddy. You're she attacked an orphan. him. You want yourself, darling. You stop taking your medicine. They seem so untrustworthy. No. Clear that head. Cause why they all ganging up on her like that? Like I don't know who to believe, either her or the family. But why he didn't leave? I'm That's what makes me think it's them. Cause leave. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Jennifer murdered your father. We're fully aware of that. We're the ones living with it. She's violent. She's delusional. Uh -uh. She's dangerous. She needs to be sectioned. What happens to us? We hit the body, covered it up. What happens to you? What if she attacks someone else? What if she attacks your mum? We obviously need to discuss what happens next, but right now we need to help mum keep her calm. All of her meds are in the bathroom. I, I never know which ones she should take. Would you mind nipping upstairs? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Didn't I tell her not to tell him not to go upstairs? Cause see, I was zoned out for a little minute. But they said we have him to call this in tonight. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. I'm lost. The little sounds I was hearing outside kind of threw me off. And the sheriff's out there. So I can't really focus right now. But from what I can see, I feel like something's going to happen to that dude. They just walked up there. And they know it. Cause she simply said, don't go upstairs. And he took his ass up there. How is she? Uh, she's fine. We'll all be fine as we've had a minute. This is the weirdest family ever. And it's always at a dinner table. But something is telling me to be on her side because I don't know. So they been doing this ritual shit and she said it in the beginning but I didn't think she meant it like that. Cause how they just sitting here calm. That's how you know they been doing this. And I feel like it's, yes, I was just gonna say. Tim, Tim, they manipulated her. I can't go through this again. They did something. What's like he her. doing up there? Shit. Please. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Please. Just stop. Just stop. Please. stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. So is that the dad up there? Like his dead body or like his soul up there? I knew they did something to her. Cause ain't no way y'all that damn calm. I'm still confused though, don't get it twisted. Girl, what the hell? How 
are they so calm? Like, what? Mom. It's okay, dear. I know. You're ravenous. Go on upstairs. So do they I'll feed? be up in a minute to help clear up. Do they feed themselves to I'm confused, bitch. Thank you, mommy. They are so weird with that mommy and daddy and ugh. It's so cringe. I thought you said she don't take her medicine. It's okay, Jen Jen. These will help you forget. All right, y'all look. See, I be knowing what be going on. This bitch just said this to help you forget. Y'all messing with that, that girl. Weird ass family. Okay, I can't wait. We finna read these comments. Okay, I don't know what she saw. I don't even care at this point. Let's read these comments. I, I give this a five out of 10 because I'm so confused. There are family dynamics like this in real life. One member gets dismissed as crazy or someone who starts drama when it's actually a different family member who's actually sick, right? When you go through it once and then watch it a second, I, I was just thinking about watching it again on my own to see like what I missed. How the boyfriend was the only one eating his dinner and when they asked about his family and it turned out he didn't really have anyone left, they were making sure no one would come looking for him. That's true. Bitch, did they feed the damn boyfriend to the damn to the damn dad? I thought he was in on it though. I'm still confused. Tim was warned not to go upstairs. Exactly. It was okay. I'll probably have to watch it again. But let me know how y'all feel about this short down below. It made sense, but it didn't. So yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video.